close your eyes take a deep breath and on your next breath you can bring to mind the hottest sex you can imagine anything that you would want let it come to you I'm Valentine, I'm a somatic sexologist and an intimacy coordinator and I run the Central Self-Touch Workshop with Oli. And I'm Oli, I am the queer sensualist, I am a sensual intimacy coach and I co-facilitate the masturbation workshop with Val. When I was announcing it to people, to my friends, they were like, oh my god, is that going to be like a bunch of women masturbating? <laughs> I think that's like the main answer I got. <laughs> She just like went to Oli being like, do you want to do like a masturbation circle with me? Yeah. And she was like, yeah. Let's go. As soon as you kind of mentioned this, I was like, oh my God, my brain just went. I was nervous as hell. I, I was really nervous. Um, I was like, I've never done anything like this kind of explicit before. The aim is to like learn new things, but like what's most important actually is choice and making sure that you're comfortable. A lot of the kind of ills of society are so rooted in like us just kind of following the scripts and oh, I have to do this or like, sex looks like this or you know I'm supposed to desire this type of person you know like we are so limiting but that also creates so much harm for like ourselves but also the people that we're in community with. Liberating yourself from the like heteronormative norms of society that, that tell you like what you should be doing in your pleasure and what you shouldn't and instead just being like all right like what do you desire so what do you want what feels good to you what is like actually your own version of pleasure your desires is quite like a deep longing of your soul and self that is informed or created in your childhood and like all the experiences but especially like the more like painful or traumatic one. My job, that's something I work a lot with my clients, is actually trying to really find the roots and these like profound desires. Because when you're like not really aware of them, that's when you're gonna get yourself into like unhealthy situation trying to like achieve that like desire. My relationship with desire has been a really it's been a really interesting journey. It's been so you know deeply intertwined with the desires of others. The process that I've been on personally has been trying to kind of yeah, disentangle that, you know, in that absence of like another, who am I? Like, what do I want? I block so much of like that desires for like looking for more like naughtiness, kinkiness, forbiddenness because of shame. Like we never got the chance to be like, oh, right, like how do you do it? Or like, yeah. how like, what does your genitals look yeah. like? All of that. Yeah. So I think like one of the power of this actually workshop is like actually like hearing from someone else yeah. the exact same experience as yourself. And it can sometimes it's different and it's great because it opens up possibilities. But sometimes it's exactly the same. And yeah. you're like, I thought I was the yeah, only yeah, one yeah. going through that, but you actually there are like alone. three other people just in that tiny room. We should actually take like portraits of people. Like people are come, like coming and usually they, after. yeah, before <laughs> after and they come in. Like usually they come awesome. as like strangers. They might like be coming on their own and they're just like all shy and being like super like uncomfortable and just like not really sharing. And then by the end, everybody's like, oh yeah, like and just like chatting to each other and stuff. And I'm like, cool. Like I feel like job is done. If people were actually really in touch with themselves yes. and their desires and their sexuality and erotism, yes. the world would be in a very different place. Yes.